Barbie. Barbie, cool. So tell me, you said you want insurance, right? Tell me about that. You said insurance? Yeah, because you said you was in insurance, right? Okay, yeah. Wait, start over. What was my talk show? And today we have Miss Barbie, right? Unique. 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 Cool. That's a cool name. Where's that from? Um, I mean, it's it's simply because my dad name is Eugene and my auntie name is Uniqua. Oh, that's cool. That's interesting. So tell me, you say you were um, where are you from originally? I'm from Florida, born and raised. Oh, Florida. That's Bar cool. County. You said Bar County? Yes. So it's near Miami Dade County. Oh, cool. I well, I've never been to Florida. So but I've been to New York, Carolina. And some other places, but never for Florida. So, how was it up there in Florida? Sorry, it's really nice. I love it. It's nice. Sun, sunshine state. Sun, it's a sunshine state, so it's always sunny. Especially if you like, if you like the beach, you like those the beach. It's, it's somewhere nice to come. Oh, cool. That's interesting. So, what's the best thing about Florida? Um, the weather. For me, for me, it's the weather. Um, we always have stuff to do. Like it's, it's always fun stuff to do. We uh, we like to be outside. We like to ride the rikers. We have the nice cars. It's a lot of attraction uh, places too. Like we got jet skis, you know, yachts, boats. Oh, that's interesting. So, have you ever been to Maryland or any other state? Have I been to another state? I've been to Indiana. Oh, that's cool. That's interesting. Never been there. So tell me, what do you do in insurance? Because you say you sell insurance, right? Yes, yes, I do. So, so uh-huh, yes. So I sell life insurance policies. Uh, I work with multiple insurance carriers, right? Mm -hmm. So I have the option to sell IUL policies, term policies, final expense, ADB policies. I mean, it just depends on medical conditions, past surgeries, you know, how old you are. Oh, wow, that's interesting, though. So, um, what's the, um, well, I was going to say, so, um, since you sell insurance, that's interesting, though. Like, you make a, how do you get paid? Like, do you get paid off of commissions or you just get, like, a regular paycheck like everybody else? Like you get paid or um, yeah, so, pay should bring in. Right. So with, with life insurance policies, it is commission only. Oh, that's that's pretty cool. That's interesting. But them you would sorry, and just not my first language. But so them so you would have to bring in a lot of people just to make a lot of money, right? You would have to know a lot of people and stuff like that, right? Or you could you could generate leads. Using social media platforms, you could pay for leads. You know, like other people generate leads, pay for their leads, which is pretty pricey. Um, depending on what type of life insurance agent you are, whether you become captive or you're an independent agent, um, that's what the comp comes in at. You make more of uh, a higher percentage as far as comp being an independent agent. So for one for one person, right? If I'm if I'm you know, hypothetically speaking, and mm -hmm. I'm at 90% comp as an independent agent. And I have someone where they have a life insurance policy that's $100, we'll get a nine month advancement, right? And with that nine month advancement, you get that up front. So you get nine payments of $100 up front. So it's like 100 times nine that you would get, and you'll get 90% of that if that's your comp. Mm -hmm. Interesting. So you make a lot of money, huh? I see you making you you can you can it's about consistency right mm -hmm. it's about consistency it's about you know leads really you have to be consistent and you have to follow up with your leads and uh keep up with your appointment uh-huh and when i say appointments most people will say well you know i'm not ready right now but i let me talk to my wife let me talk to my family and i could purchase the life insurance tomorrow call me back tomorrow hello that's what you try to do at this time yeah, that's what you kind of did to me trying to sell me um, life insurance. But exactly, <laughs> yeah, it's funny. But <coughs> so, tell me, favorite movie though? 
Yeah. You still young, right? You like in your twenties, yeah. like me. So favorite movie. What's my favorite movie? Yeah. What's your favorite movie? Um, I mean, recently my favorite movie. Oh, it's, I'm, I'm torn between Eco Equalizer and uh, Matrix. Who with Denzel Washington? Yeah. Right? Mm-hmm. Um, didn't they come out with a third one the other the uh, this year or was it last year they come out with a third one or something like that? The yeah, Equal- it was really good. You gotta watch it. Yeah, cause I'm not I remember I was in the theaters watching it. But yeah, it was cool. Have you seen City of God? Yeah. No, I'm guessing you not. What? Have you seen the movie Love and Basketball? Yeah, of course, of course. So if they were to do like a remake or like a part two. Do you think a part two would be better? Or like a remake? Which one do you think would be better? Mm-hmm. Part two. Because a part two would be like, watch that children grow up or something like that and like, whatever. But then the remake would be, a, I don't know. What do you think? You know what? Yeah. Because I mean, like, if you do a part two, then it's going to be like, okay, what are we continuing? Type of thing. Because like the kids growing up and maybe the kids having a similar story to them. You know, yeah. to their parents, or it could be like something totally different than what they, fam- they what their parents did. Mm-hmm. Yeah, but then we do a remake. Who's gonna play? Um, what was the girl's name that played? Uh, I forgot the characters, the actors' names. Who would play the main character? If we did like a remake. He said, "Who would play the main character?" Yeah, who, who would play the them? Character? If they did like a remake, who would replace the main characters? Who do you think? Who plays the main characters? Maybe Jordan or I'm gonna say Jordan B. Smith. No. I'm trying. Mm-hmm. To, who would replace them? Well, do you read a lot? I don't know. Well, you can do like Bri- you know, Bri- Brianna from the Proud Family. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah. That's interesting. Do you read a lot though? Do you read books? Yeah, I do. Oh, cool. So, um, favorite book? Or what is your favorite book? Or was or what was the last book you read? Um, I mean, lately I've been reading up on life insurance. Oh. You know, uh, psychology of selling. Well, I believe life insurance is a scam. Though they should sell death insurance, like instead of life insurance, quote unquote, because like if you sell life insurance, like what's the point? You can't use it when you're still alive, like kind of in a way. So this be selling insurance for people that are like gonna die or something like that. But it's kind of the same thing though. Right? Right. See, that's that's why knowledge, right? That's why knowledge is key. Knowledge is power. Mm-hmm. Um, it's called living benefits because you don't have to wait till you die. Yeah. Well, it's called life insurance. You don't have to wait till you die to you know reap those benefits. So if you have a life insurance policy, and that's why I like IUL policies, it gives you living benefits. So if you become chronic, critical, or terminally ill, you get those. Um, you get, you get that face amount. So let's say your face amount is three hundred thousand dollars with your life mm-hmm. insurance policy. You get that while you're living. So it gives you living benefits, death benefits, and cash accumulation. So would would life insurance cover unemployment, unemployment, or being loss of job? Do they cover unemployment and loss of job? Yes. Yeah. So you have writers that you can get a writer that will cover it. So let's say, you know, you become stable, whatever the case may be, you're not able to work. So you got a premium writer where your premium payments for your life insurance policy would be covered. And you also can get a, a writer for, you know, if, if something happens where you're not able to work. So yes, you do have that option to add that writer. That's interesting. So, so you say you, uh, you started your own business, right? What, what was it, selling cookies or something on the side? You was like you started your own business, right? Yeah. What is that? It was written out motorbike. Uh huh. Um, if you, I don't know if you've heard of a Canon Riker, mm-hmm. but yeah. So I did. I did. Uh, I had a rental company doing Canon or uh, right out Canon Rikers. Mm-hmm. That's impressive. That's pretty cool, though. Any um, do you have any questions for me? Sorry, questions? No. No. 
I'm guessing so. Um, another quick question. So, um, do you believe um, do you believe in private schools? Did you go to a private school or public school? Do you believe in private schools? I went to a public school. Um, means I went to a public school too, but then my public school was back in high school. It was mainly uh, how do I say this without being racist? It was mainly white people, so I felt out of place. I mean, that's where you should thrive the most. You know, because they don't. I said that's where you should thrive the most. At all. Yeah, I mean, they should start. They should like. I don't say ban pub private schools, but yeah, they should kind of get rid of private schools in a way. That's just my opinion, though. So all the rich people like come into public schools and kind of help make it better in a way. Okay. What What do you think? Nah. Yes. No. I mean, private schools is used for. Um, different reasons so i me personally i wouldn't i wouldn't ban private schools i mean it's basically mm, like for what though it's basically a bunch of people they don't want to be in public schools right they're really oh they, they think oh my child is better than this i mean it teaches it's more strict right so private schools is more strict it teaches more discipline yeah it does but then um, I met a couple. I met a couple students that went to private school. It doesn't really teach discipline like that. But because personally, I plan on running for government in the next few years when I um get my master's degree in data. So I'm going to try to change some things too. Like for example, with the zoning laws and all those things like that. Yeah, it was just I don't know. Okay. Yeah, I'm just like I actually plan for running from government in the next few years. Like I, I'm turning 25 in May, so yeah, I'm trying to get my life together. I'm still trying to figure out my life. Literally, in a couple of days, I'm going to turn 25. I'm going to be starting a master's program in August. Like I'm just trying to get things together. So yeah. But I can clear. That's really good. And you, you, you definitely need to get your life insurance policy. I can't, I can't express that to you enough. Of course. I mean, you still but young. Right? I don't make yeah, enough money. Still... Like literally, I don't right now. I don't make enough money for life insurance. Like I literally make about personally about a hundred dollars per week at this small company that I'm working at part time after school, setting up the students' programs and stuff. Like I'm I'm a program coordinator for an after school program. Like I literally help the students with the activities, set up that program, do all the little fancy stuff. Make sure they all right okay. to them with their homework. You know, I work with students at the school basically as their director, program coordinator, whatever. So, yes, yeah, so, and I don't make a, I don't make enough right now. So it's like a hundred dollars a week not going to get me far. Like I'm 25, still living at home with my mom, which is kind of sad in a way. You 25, you 25, still living at home, which is uh. We lose a connection. I don't have your phone number. What about you? What do you think? Is 25 a bad time to be living at home with your mom? Or like still... Your connection, your phone is freezing. Oh, okay. oh yeah, I'm on there. So what age do you think a, a child should leave their parents' house? Say that again. What age do you think a, a child should leave their parents' house? Whenever they're ready. Yeah. Whenever they're ready. So basically, me, I personally don't plan on leaving home till I go, till I get married. Basically, that's the thing. I'm gonna be living at home till I get married. So yeah. Okay. Yeah, it, it ain't no rush. I mean, yeah, as, long as, as long as you and your parents get along and you know you're not stressing them out and it's not stressful with you being there, then what you mean stressful? Stay there as long as you can. <laughs> yeah, I'm from living there to uh, get married, to uh, buy, so, saving up enough to buy my own place. Do they um do they got a program called the Dollar Houses in Florida? Would it be selling houses for a dollar? Uh huh. They do. Wait, say that again. Are you asking what you said? So I'll say, do they have a program called the uh, um? Do they have like a program where they be selling houses for a dollar in Florida? Because they in Bo in Maryland they got this program. That they sell, they literally selling abandoned homes and stuff for like a dollar, trying to fill up the neighborhood and stuff like that. Really? Yeah. They abandoned. In Maryland? No. In Maryland. In Baltimore. 
So it's Baltimore City. So just if you want to know it, Baltimore City. But then they started the place. Got to fix the band place up and live there for like all these requirements. But it's not really a dollar. It's like yeah, you still got to fix them up and stuff like that and renovate them and live there. So it's like not really a dollar. So it's kind of yeah. I need it. Yeah, but no, I don't. I don't know anything about that uh, for Florida. No, in Florida, so <laughs> so what? Everything, you, everything is expensive in Florida. Everything's yeah, expensive, right? So, how much is rent over there? Like what? A thousand plus? Um, I have a three bedroom, and the rent is twenty nine hundred here. So, you said a three bedroom house. Yeah, it's a, it's a apartment. Like 200, oh, a three-bedroom apartment. So, what, that's like 300, uh, two, 3,000 upwards? Yes, it's 2,900 a month, so it's about 3,000, yeah. Oh, wow, 3,000. Damn. Because for me, personally, the place I was doing, it's like my mom's paying the mortgage. Our, our house costs like 300,000 upwards, our neighborhood, so. Me, I just don't have a car yet. I just don't have my license yet, so I'm still trying to get that. And I'm glad, though, because I'm getting my license in on Saturday if I pass the test. And that's good. Congratulations. Yeah, like, I finally, because COVID happened, I would have gotten my license earlier, but then COVID happened. So. Thank you. Understood. Yeah, so tell me, uh, do you, um, if you had the test, would you travel to, like, Dubai or something like that? I'm trying to figure out. Oh, shit. If I had the test, would I travel where? To Dubai. Yeah, rock star. Yeah, Dubai. Ever been to Dubai? Yeah, no, I've never been there. It was nice. I went there for a family vacation. It was cool. It was nice. Okay, yeah, that sounds good. When I was younger, we used to travel a lot, do family vacations here and there. Then life happened, you know, parents divorce. So we had to cut back. And scale down. Yeah, I'm just yeah, I know though it's kinda sad too. <laughs> so after my parents divorce, I lived we lived in an apartment for like two, three years. So my mom got everything settled and we moved. Okay. Well, you said what? I said, okay, that's nice. Um no, not really. We live in an apart in a two bedroom apartment with four or five people. That's not nice. Uh -huh. And so I'm saying that it's nice that she that she left the apartment and got a home. That's what's nice. Oh, that's nice. Yeah, of course. Yeah. Because I was like, when my parents divorced, I was how do I say this? I was literally sleeping on the my when we moved into apartment. Like I was literally sleeping in sleeping in the in the in the living room. Like, I didn't have my own room. First, I, I shared with my mother, and I was sleeping in the living room till, like, 12th grade till about 11th grade. I was sleeping in the living room till about 11th grade. Literally on the couch. Wow. So my mom put up a little dividers or whatever, tried to make it homey. So all my stuff was in the living room. My bed was literally in the living room in the corner. Wow. Yeah, I mean, it was, yeah, after you look at it, my mom was really strict, too. Like, she was really strict, strict. Like, I didn't even get my first phone till I entered the university. So, imagine getting your wow. first phone at 18. That's how, I don't say tough my life was, but, yeah. My mom cut off the cable because, oh, she don't want me talking to the girls. She don't want me doing this, she don't want me doing that. So, no tea, like... She cut a cable when I was in seventh grade. No phone, no none of that. So it's like I was like always a nerd or whatever, going home reading whatever. And then I went to a school mainly filled with white white people. So it was like different. So it was yeah. Yeah. Wow. What you say wow for? Like it's just wow. Because I mean, you get your first phone to was eight. Yeah, and I even bought my first. She never bought me a phone. I even bought my first phone with my refund check. Oh my goodness! <laughs> yeah, my mom was super strict. Like, and she's still strict too. But since I'm young, I st and I still live at home. I gotta listen to her and everything. So she always tripping. Oh, I come out and I should get some food. 
What you doing? Like, she's extra, extra. But it's cool, though. She She's just Karen. Right? Yeah. Some mm -hmm. birds are just extra and caring and loving, which is cool. Yeah. What about you? When, you? when did you get your first phone? Oh, wow. You probably got your first phone like what? When you were 13, 14? Yeah, probably. Okay, so I have to I have to get off of the, the video call now. Yeah, um, thank you very much for your time. Any shot you wanna give a shout out to anybody? Oh uh, no. <laughs> oh you wanna put your Instagram out there or something? I don't know your uh business. I don't know. Um so if anybody wanna get life insurance, they can call me directly and my phone number is nine five four two seven nine four five four nine. Thank you very much. And I got your permission to place it on YouTube, right? Because I don't want to get sued, right? Of course. You won't get sued. Thank you very much. <laughs> I know in America, they got, they sue people for everything nowadays. Thank you very much. And have a wonderful day. Bye. You too. Thank you. Bye-bye.